always solutions for your pain without medications, without injections, and without surgeries. So you can go back to the things that you love to do. It may be working out, running, exercise, or anything fitness related, and you can get back to normal. So this week, I wanna to talk to you about the single best exercise for SI joint pain or sciatica. SI joint pain and sciatica is the single most misdiagnosis by doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists, because it is not seen on an MRI or an X-ray, and it's caused by movement imbalances in your pelvic area. In a second, I'm gonna show you how you can self-treat this immediately, no matter how long you've had your pain, and no matter what you may have tried. But first, before I get there, I wanna tell you a quick story about a woman who came to my office the other day with the exact same symptoms you may be having right now. Her name is Felicia, and Felicia is 52 years old. Felicia is a mother of three, she's very fit, she likes to exercise, she goes to the gym a couple times a week, but her goal is to be a marathon runner. She likes to, she likes to increase her distance with running. She's depressed right now because she can't run anymore. Recently, she came to my office because of this pain in her right SI joint, which is right over here. The SI joint is a bone that it connects to your pelvis and that bone can get pinched and when that bone gets pinched when you're running, the sciatic nerve, which comes through that bone underneath it, can get pinched and cause muscle pain imbalances, a feeling of tightness, a feeling of burning, tingling, aching, you may have this, or a feeling that your leg feels heavy and tired when you're trying to do too much activity. Sometimes the pain can come on with rolling in bed, and even getting up from a low chair. If this sounds like you and you're having pain in your SI joint, whether it be left-sided or right-sided, we can totally help you today. If you keep listening to this, I'm gonna show you in a minute how this could be done and you can fix it right on the spot. So before I get started, let's tell you a little bit more about Felicia. So anyway, Felicia came to me after she saw multiple doctors. She had x-rays and MRIs. And like you, she might've had an MRI for your, if you had an MRI for your back, she, may, she said that she had an MRI because the doctor told her she has a disc herniation. She's never gonna run it anymore. And the disc herniation on an MRI is a false positive. And a false positive means that basically, it just says that the, the studies show that 50% of people walking outside have disc herniations on their MRIs. I may even have disc herniations on my MRI, but I have no pain. So we don't know what causes pain. But we do know that the sciatic nerve can get pinched in three different places. The sciatic nerve, which causes the side joint pain, can get pinched in three different places. And the first place that it can get pinched is between the bones of the spine. Here's the bones of the spine, L4 and L5. And here's the pelvic area. This is the hip on the side, if we're looking at a side view. Okay, and this here, are, this here is the disc. It's like a jelly donut. And if you can imagine, that disc sits right in between these bones right here. And what the doctors see on the MRI is they show that that jelly on the inside bulges out and presses on the sciatic nerve, which comes right off of these roots in your back. These roots over here, these are the, these are the roots where the bones come out the sciatic nerve is like a long garden hose, and what happens is that sciatic nerve can get pinched right here from the disc. But I'm gonna let you know something. Felicia's in her 50s. There's no way she has a disc herniation. The studies show that anybody between the ages of 35 and 45 can have a disc herniation, and Felicia's discs are already dried out, and most people in the ages of 50 this jelly dries out. So the studies show that it can't be a disc herniation. So even though that's what the doctor told her, she's never gonna run again, that's false. So no matter what the doctor told you, you can go back to what you wanna do and fix it yourself because your problem is not caused by a disc. So the disc herniation is one type of sciatica, which is just a symptom. Sciatica is a symptom, not a cause. So she doesn't have that. Number two, it's stenosis. Stenosis or arthritis
Stenosis or arthritis just basically means if we're looking at these healthy bones over here, the bones, when you get older, they start to touch and the disc space starts to become broken down and there's not enough space there. And what happens is again, that long garden hose, the sciatic nerve that comes all the way down the longest nerve of the body, that comes down the back and comes out of the pelvic area, just like that, can get pinched here by the bones. By the way, Felicia is not 67 years old or in her high 60s and she doesn't have stenosis. So that is definitely not her. That is somebody with uh, pain that comes on after walking just for a little bit. Uh, they feel relief when they're sitting and they, they usually need a shopping cart to keep walking in the mall. Felicia is not that person. Felicia has the most misdiagnosis by doctors, chiropractors, physical therapists, acupuncturists, anybody, because it's not found on an MRI or an x-ray. This is a muscular imbalance that you probably have, and I wanna let you know something, 80% of people walking around out there with lower back pain most certainly have this diagnosis that's most missed, and we're gonna show you how to fix it right now. So with Felicia, we found out after she's been to so many doctors and so many chiropractors and therapists that she has SI joint pain. Now, we spoke about the sciatic nerve and how it can get pinched by the disc, it can get pinched by the bones in the L4-5 region, and this is where it gets pinched the most, right here, guys. It's right here by the tailbone. Here's the tailbone. If this is the pelvic area, the tailbone is right here, and the SI bone is right here. It is the con connection between the pelvic bone, this area, and the lower back and the pain starts right here in one area and travels down the leg and like I said this is how I know you probably don't have a disc herniation if your pain is not going past your knee if it's not traveling past your knee and you don't have a, a weakness in your leg and you just have pain going up to your knee and it feels heavy tired and you have problems rolling in bed or your leg feels tired after running or exercising and you feel relief when you're resting it, you most likely have what Felicia has, which is SI joint pain. And I'm gonna tell you how I fix Felicia. Felicia came into my office after seeing all those doctors and we determined that her problem was coming from her pelvic area. Very common for men or women by the ages. It could be, it could be a 20 year old. I've seen it in 20 year olds, I've seen it in 90 year olds, but more commonly it happens in 50 year olds or so high 40s to 50s, and people that have weakness in their buttock area. It comes on because of an imbalance in the muscles of the pelvic area. The buttock muscles and the hip flexors, which are these muscles in the front, don't work together to stabilize these muscles, these bones. And when the way to treat the SI joint problem is through muscle stabilization exercises that can be done by a properly trained specialist who knows exactly what they're doing, like a physical therapist who's trained in sciatica and is a specialist in sciatica and SI joint pain. So here it is. Guys, go to the wall, put your hand on the wall. If your pain is on your right side, we're gonna basically put your left side on the wall. If your pain is on your left side, switch sides and put your right side on the wall. Again, if your pain is on, let's imagine the pain's on the right side, the pain's on this right SI joint, that's where my pain is, okay? And the treatment is this, it's so easy to do, takes two seconds. You're gonna put your arm, your left arm up on the wall, and you're gonna put your other hand on your hip, and it's almost like doing a, kinda like, a, I'm a little teapot position. You know, like when you're a kid, you hold that position like that, your feet are together, and the goal is to keep your back straight, and you're going to push your hip all the way over to the wall like that. Now, if you notice, my feet are away from the wall, about, about a foot and a half or so, two feet, and what I'm doing with my body is I'm positioning my body in a banana kind of like position. That's the secret. That's the technique. You gotta keep your knees straight, back straight, and push to the wall. And you repeat that motion several times. And the goal of the exercise is to go all the way to the wall repeatedly until you feel that there's relief from the pain, the numbing, the tingling, the aching, the throbbing, whatever you feel in your thigh should move up to the butt, higher up towards the back. 
and get to the center of your back. The goal of these exercises is to take the pressure off of that nerve. By doing that movement, that side gliding movement, you are actually taking, if we talked about the sciatic nerve, is the longest nerve in the body, it can get pressed, remember, here, here at the bone or in the pelvic area, you are, by moving your back side to side, you're actually reducing the compression or the pressure on that garden hose, which is that nerve, taking the pressure off and the electricity from the brain down the spine can flow better and gives power back to the muscles of the buttock. So your power comes back and you feel less of that tightening or pain. So go ahead and leave me a comment below if you like the video, if you want to see more. And if you have any questions for me, you may look me up at www.allcarept.com. If you want to come in for a free screen or talk to me on the phone, I'd be happy to talk with you. Shoot me an email and I'd be happy to con uh, have a consultation with you on the phone to let you know if I could help you out. Thanks. What's your pain showing? Right back here uh -huh. and shot down to my knee. Uh -huh. Could barely walk, couldn't sit down and work at the computer. I'd be in this crazy pain when I got up and do this. Right. Just, I don't know, three weeks ago. I went to acupuncture. Mm -hmm. I went to this healer person. Mm -hmm. I went to a chiropractor. Mm -hmm. Nothing worked. It helped a little bit, but did not solve my issue. How much? It's a knee problem. Which most doctors did too. Right. Got it. Info at allcarept.com with the subject free sciatica report to claim instant access to secrets of success in sciatica treatment. Your copy of the free sciatica report can show you how to easily apply the pain science approach and the McKenzie method to yourself without visiting the office.